hello guys welcome to another educative and exciting episode here on fom tv my name is fom in this video we are going to demonstrate how to set up your own tarpaulin tank or tarpaulin pond for fish farming from start to finish so guys this is going to be a very interesting video that you might want to watch to the end to know exactly how to fix this tarpaulin tank a lot of people ask questions about it normally by the time you see it it is already fixed and then there's water inside but today we are going to demonstrate how you are going to do it from start to finish so please if you are interested in this video click on the subscribe button share our videos and be sure to leave a comment also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime we drop a video you'll be the first to watch let's get right into it so you see before you set up the pond the whole place must be leveled normally people like to you know cast concrete on the floor that is fine if you can cast the concrete if you cannot cast concrete too that is also fine all it needs is that you must level the place and make sure it does not have any tree stamps or any um you know foreign materials it should be a level a ground now after you get the ground and then you bring your materials now these poles have been fabricated already so you go to the welder you give them your measurement they do the fabrications and then you bring them on site so today we are going to set up a 15 by 10 feet pond 15 feet by 10 feet and the height is four feet pond and so you you saw we have our two we are setting two of them two tarpaulins they are there and then we are um, setting out a metal frame where it's going to be so we set out the metal frame we put where each metal how many um poles are going to be in each on each side we put it there and then how many stands are going to be on each corner we put it there so that is what you see us doing here putting every metal frame the legs the crosses and the beams or the poles at where each one of them is supposed to be this process is also very important so that right from the start you don't miss where any of the metal is going to be so you set it up so that you get the exact frame before you start the pipes used in the construction of this is one and a half inch so we use one and a half inch for the long length and then the long poles and then use two inches for the legs where each leg is going to be is two inches so these ones that he's picking are two inches and all the side poles are also one and a half inch so you use two inches pipes to set up where the one and a half inch poles will enter so you see that where the joints are are all two inches where the short joints are where you insert the poles are two inches but the pipe long pipes are one and a half inch that you put inside the two inch pole so this is our setup and then we put we we have firmly demarcated where we are going to put the tanks now we spread out the tarpaulin material to you know um know the full length of it and then normally when the tarpaulin material is delivered it is only just welded there are no cuts that have been made so you have to do the cuts where you are going to insert the poles on your own at the site and that's why this video is very important so where the cuts are going to be where the drainage system is going to be you have to do that yourself so part two of this video is going to be how to do the drainage system the plumbing works on the tarpaulin pond that's also going to follow this um this video we can't add everything together or else this video is going to be too long so um that is how the tarpaulin tank is you can see that it has been welded there are no cuts on the edges and so we will start doing the cut ourselves and then we put in the poles ourselves and that is one side of the 
pond the one length that we are setting up and you can see that on each one long length on the 15 feet length we have two stands that are placed um at good measurement in between the 15 um feet length that is also supposed to ensure a strong side or a strong um side of the pond so these are the two you know stands placed in between the 15 feet length that will ensure that the water is held in place and then this pond is strong enough to carry the weight that is coming in later so that you might want to normally people do it one but if it is 15 feet length two is very appropriate so that you have a strong tarpaulin pond so you can see that we have done our measurements after you spread it out you do measurements and know exactly where you are going to do cuts and so start cutting a, a pond and so that is one side that we have cut and you are going to insert the um, poles inside so we have already done one side and then now we are doing the other side um so i mean this doesn't take a lot of time if you know what you are doing it doesn't take a lot of time so you insert the pipes inside then you put the end stand at the end so you put the stand at the end and make it a very strong um we think you put a stand at the end um to hold the um to hold one side up so you see that is how um, we have done our own here we hold one side up and then um, you do that for all the other corners you put in the first pole the top pole and then you put the stand which holds it up then you do the other side so for the length and the width that's how you are going to do each one of them you put in the um poles make sure you insert the stands or the legs in between the two legs that i've already mentioned the two legs that are going to be in between make sure you insert them at where you cut them and also make sure that the two legs at both lengths of the tarpaulin pond align so if you come to one of the lengths the same cut should be at the other end of the length i hope you understand so that you don't you you have um um the two legs aligning at opposite sides that makes a strong um stand for the pond and so you ensure um that one too so you can see that on our own we have cut um exactly it is better to do measurements on this one so we've cut exactly the same size of the length and then inserted the stance and so that's what you do on the tarpaulin plan so if you do that exactly you come to your pond you see that it doesn't take a lot of time the same process and then you're able to set up your tarpaulin tank so like i said it would not take a lot of time but if it is your first time you might want to take it easy and learn um, so that you don't make any mistake because if you cut the wrong side of the tarpaulin to you might destroy the tarpaulin mm -hmm. so that is our first 15 by 10 feet tank four feet height that we have set up and so like i'm showing you here you see that we we cut the exact side of the two tarpaulin um the two lengths or the two breaths so you can see that we put one length on the other so that you get the exact measurement that is the best way to do it you put one length of the on the other and then you cut it exactly as you want it and so that is what we are showing you here so in this case if you open the pond up do you get the same measurements or cut at the same um, length the two sides and the same width if you do a good job that's what you are going to get so you can use scissors in cutting you can use a knife in cutting you see that the tarpaulin that we are using here is quite thick and strong so it is not easy to use a scissor so we use knife in cutting it if you have a bigger scissor too that's okay but a knife will also do a good job for you 
so that is our setup that is the setting of the second pawn so he's coming to cut the corners to as we did for the other one so you cut the corners and then that's where the poles will enter through So if you cut at the right sizes and you insert your poles um a few minutes time into your work your pond is done so you can see that here we've also set up the second tarpaulin pond also 15 by 10 so all our two ponds have been set up in a few um, minutes time now what is also very important is that after setting up the pond you make sure that they are all on level grounds if you don't ensure this immediately you put in water the pond is going to sway or is going to slide to one side which is going to break the poles because the water when water comes in the pond is very heavy so you must ensure that they are all aligned and it is and the pond is set up on a flat surface with no slopiness or steepiness at any other side so after the pond we are ensuring that they are all straightened up on the same level if you find out that they are not all on the same level you must make provide for support so if you have to pack solid objects under the leg or the stance of the pond so that they all get to one level after that what i do is that i use my leveler i have a leveler on my phone so i use my leveler to make sure that they are all at that same level if they are not that's what you see me doing i would put some packs there and i check and make sure that they are still all on the same level so you do that for all the size of the pond and make sure that all the uh, size are uh aligned so if you are if they are not you pack things under the stands or the legs to make sure that you see now at this side i had to pack two um things to make sure they are all leveled now this side is very leveled to the other side and you can see that's why i'm smiling now the app we use will ensure that the exact measurement is given 0, 0, 0 so it means that it is a flat surface and you can see the indicator right in the middle of the app and i'm all smiles you know and okay saying that look we are on the level ground so if all the sides align and they are all leveled then it means that we are good to go and our pond setup is complete now after setting up the pond if you've watched all my other videos i've told you that even if you install a tarpaulin pond you must still treat that pond because you don't know where the tarpaulin material has been to so you treat it by just the use of washing it with just simple salt so you saw us um putting our salt in there and then um, adding a little bit of water so you scrub or you wash the whole pond in circles with the salt solution that you have just made
so guys this is basically how you set up your own tarpaulin pond and um, i believe this video has been very informative and educational for you be sure to click on the subscribe button if you want us to bring more of these videos and share this video and then leave us a comment bye bye